The biblical year of the Pauline family begins on November 26, 2020 and goes right up to November 26, 2021. On January 26, at the conclusion of the vocational year of the Pauline family, together with the entire church, we celebrated the Word of God Sunday instituted by Pope Francis with his apostolic letter, A Peruit Illis. As the Pauline family, we welcomed this invitation for renewing the centrality of the Word of God in our mission and in our life, according to the inheritance received from our founder, Blessed James Alberioni. The superiors general of the five religious congregations of the Pauline family announced that from November 26, 2020 until November 26, 2021, we will celebrate together as Pauline family the year of the Word of God with the theme that the Lord's message may spread quickly. 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 1 the logo is inspired by two biblical images, the sower, Luke 8, 4 to 15, and the runner, 1 Corinthians 9, 24. Both biblical references indicate an action to be carried out with a sense of responsibility and urgency. The sower must sow in such a way as to expect an abundant harvest in due time. The runner, after sufficient preparation, must win the race. The combination of these two references brings us to the theme of the Pauline family's year of the Bible, that the word of the Lord may speed forward. 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 1. The daughters of St. Paul along with the entire Pauline family keep 26 November as the feast day of our founder blessed James Alberioni and it is indeed the apt day to launch the biblical year. It is the 49th death anniversary of the founder meaning we have just entered into the golden jubilee year of his passing into eternity. In different parts of the country the daughters of Saint Paul kept this day meaningfully by honoring the word of God and the founder in multicultural ways. For the daughters of St. Paul, this day was unique because all across the country we participated in the same online Eucharist celebrated by the Provincial Superior of the Indian Nigeria UK province of the Society of St. Paul and we all prayed together with the other members of the Pauline family who were also participating online. At the Eucharistic celebration at the chapel of the Society of St. Paul in Bandra, representatives of the three religious congregations of the Pauline family in India attended. It was indeed a very unitive celebration. We take this opportunity to wish you all a happy feast and invite you to participate with us in this year of the Word of God in all the activities which will be organized. Stay tuned.